Welcome back to more Mega Man ZX. In the last episode, we completed Model HX. And speaking of which, I was recording the other segments of the next biometal piece we're going to get. And the can my memory card didn't want my memory card didn't like that. So apparently we're going to be starting over. And I had to start the whole game over from that point. Well, I had to start the whole game over to get to this point this point again, which actually isn't too bad because since this is a short game, and by skipping all the cutscenes and stuff like I don't like you don't just act like you don't care. It didn't take long, like 35 minutes. Not long at all. But you're gonna notice something when I change into model HX. Our bar is on the same level as my HP. That is because I got two I got level three victories on High Vault and Hurricane. And they kinda got in the they kinda they just poked their weak spot at me like right as they were gonna die. It was just like really, you're gonna troll me that much? So yeah, no level three victories for me. That I'm doing this because you see there's a sub tank, but how will you get to eat my dad? Simply climb up the wall, fall down, fall down. And we're heading to area H to secure biometal from an, an abandoned amusement park. Park. Ooh, did do? This is like the most this is this the epic epic or most epic song right here in the game. It's like right here. They really did it well, I like it. Everything is still the same as it was last time, aside from my HX, um, energy levels. Energy levels! What does a scouter say about a power level? It's... in an amusement... Okay, hold on. Kayla does not like this place. Because this is where we're going to be getting some backstory. Anyway, continuing on with the joke I want to do. What's the scouter say about its power level? It's under 9,000! Huh, well that's not too bad. I don't know. I forgot the whole joke, but it's supposed to be funny. And if you laugh, even if you laugh in pity, that's cool. You could even tell me in the comments if you laugh and if you gave me a pity laugh, I, I wouldn't really care. Ow. I, kinda, I just kind of let that thing shoot me. Right. Oh, I forgot that was there. Ah, Metars. Yes, Metars returns. There's actually a lot of Battle Network references in here. I think they're Battle Network references. I mean, I'm assuming they are, because I know Met. Well, aside from Metars, because they've been around since the beginning of Mega Man. Oh, that's cool. Those big chunks, they automatically fill up your sub -ta sub tanks. All right, I forgot to charge. And we're gonna be fighting this giant Metar. Not a hard mini boss. Just want to get your HX charge full. That hurricane's gonna do a lot of damage, almost half. Well, actually, it did over. It did a little over half. Do it again. And you have yourself a dead giant Metar. Mm. This isn't the one with the biometal. I wonder where it could be. And out of nowhere, Perry's like, Allie, what's going on? You've been acting strange ever since this mission started. And now she's gonna give her a reason to say that. She's yelling. And this is where the backstory happens. Ten years ago, I was attacked by the Mavericks. I was separated by my, from my mom during the panic. And Gira was the one that found and rescued me. So yeah, that, ma that big Maverick raid that everyone's been talking about... Allie was in it, and her mother got killed, and that's when Gero found her. So it was kind of hard to fight for her here. And right, now we're ready to recommence the mission. The mission. Who is the punch? Okay, these little guys are just annoying. Ah, got me! Ah, oh my god, those things will drop- They will drop you into that hole and it will not be pretty. 
See? There's a bunny. There's a bunny. There's a bunny. That is a reference to Mega Man Battle Network. Because I don't know what other games... I don't know what other Mega Man games those bunnies would show up in if I can Battle Network. Ow. Boom. Mexi. Ow. I just thought of something brilliant. Oh my gosh, for my next Let's Play. Well, I know what my next two Let's Plays are. But it might be two Let's Plays. Oh, this is gonna be such a great idea. I can't wait to... Actually, when I'm done recording this, I'm gonna start recording my new Let's Play and put it alongside these two, because this idea I just had was just uber excellent. Oh, this room. This room. This room is epic. Not really. This room is annoying, because those guys... These little things are pricks. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, so close. If he didn't, if that thing didn't hit me, I would have lived that. And I'm making this like a Wi-Fi battle. Just like, if he, did, if he didn't get the extra damage on me, I would have lived that. And revenge killed. I'm doing Wi-Fi battling a lot lately. It's fine. Except sometimes... There are always those noobs who decide to frickin' DC when they're about to lose, because I fought one earlier. And it was gonna be like a 4-0. Maybe a 3-0 on my part. Maybe, could have been close. But I never know, because when I had four Pokemon left, the kid the dude had two. And then guess what? He DC'd. He just randomly DC'd, and I I asked him what happened, he never replied, so I'm guessing he DC'd on purpose. Oh my god, this thing hit me. Awesome sauce. Okay, made it. Now, we're gonna fight... We are about to fight... One of my least favorite bosses in this game. Because the bosses for the model that we're getting, these guys are just uber pricks. So, Maverick has come to take me back, eh? Lord Serpich just doesn't understand how to treat his employees. So you're the one with the bio metal. I'm sorry, but I'll be taking it now. Oh, so you're not one of the Mavericks. Then get out of my park. <laughs> well, you aren't actually going to challenge an official an officer of Slither Incorporated, are you? This should be an interesting. I'll show you just how powerful the pursuit rate Cupero really is. This guy is a freaking prick. Anyway, bye. enemy bio. And this is Pupiro, the biometal in his arms. I even I knew that when I first played this game, and I didn't know where the biometal would be in some locations. Anyway, he's a he's a prick because he likes to throw stuff. He likes to throw dirt at you. He likes to spin around. He's just like jumping all over the place. He likes doing that. That's him spinning around. Ah. He does it twice, and then he likes to make dirt and stuff, because he's annoying, and I hit his arms, and I don't care, I'm gonna heal, because I know if I don't heal, I'm gonna die. But, I, so I, sometimes I die, wow, he did not, well, he did his arms twice or four times. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, I got level two, that sucks. No, no, I'm too powerful to be beaten, I'm an, uh, officer. I should be unstoppable. Oh! I'm sorry, that's the best monkey act that I can come up with. Drowning in his own power. <laughs> what an appropriate end for such a low life that wanted it so badly. I am the biometal of the shadows. Model P, you Al, fought bravely. Model X, since you are lending your power to this one, I am assume the time that the 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 the, the he can't speak. It has. Someone is trying to revive Model W. Will you help us stop him? It is our destiny to across the ages to protect the world of man. Let us once again become humanity's blade for striking down evil. I apologize that I cannot hand over the password. Serpent split my data up into two parts. The other part is contained in a different pursuit droid. As long as that pursuit droid is operational, you will never reach Model W. And we are going to get Model P. It's an okay model. The only thing it can really do is rapid fire. Like a sexy beast. Rapid fire! And it can hang on to a surface. Uh, get down. 
Um, I'm stuck. This is... This is weird. Okay, I got... Okay, I was scared for a second. <laughs> and kind of embarrassed when I got stuck. But that is enough for this episode of Mega Man ZX. So next time, we'll be heading off to the next area. To get the other half of Model P. See you guys then!